Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Joel and I'll be your guide today. Hope you enjoy the ride. Let's jump right in. Oh, and one more thing. You gotta watch the whole video to appreciate it, so please wait till the end. Anyways, we've been making a lot of peekers lately and, well, here's another one. Kinda jumped in a little late here, um, if you haven't recognized them yet. Um, we are drawing Kid Boo. And right now, it's actually been going pretty fast. We're already in the inking process. We switch pens here, and we're just gonna go ahead and trace the lines we want to keep. And the ones we don't, well, we ignore. And one thing, for the eyes, I always like to start it on the new layer. Trace out one of the eyes. Then once we got one of them perfect, ready to go, we're just gonna copy, flip, drag, and paste. And now all that's left are just a few small details, and we're done. Oh, uh, with the outline. Alright, so now we're moving on. We are gonna be coloring. This is my absolute favorite part, but you guys already know this. Like always, we gotta start off with the base colors. There's only one really, so yeah, let's go ahead and fill it in. Perfect. Alright, um, let's go ahead and color in the eyes real quick. And we're going to move on to the highlights and shadows. Alright, so here we're going to be adding some shadows to the drawing. I'm just going to be adding it to places I think look pretty good. Uh, well, places that make sense to me, I guess. And for this guy, I'm going to be adding another shade, slightly darker. It's just going to help it give it a little more depth to it. And once all that's done, we're going to move on to the highlights. Here we go. How's it looking? Personally, I like it. But let me know what you guys think. While you comment down below, I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. Alright, so not gonna lie, I'm loving how he's looking. We just need to do one more thing and we'll be all done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the select tool and we're just gonna crop him down just a tad bit. There we go, he's all done, he's finished. Let's go ahead and remove the background and let's move on. The designing phase is all done. Let's move on to phase two, which is actually making the sticker. So we got the Roland BN20 going. It's going to print out the sticker for me. All I got to do is just wait for it. Oh yeah, and once it's done, it's going to also cut it out for me. So right here, you can kind of see it. Right here, you can definitely see it. It's cutting the border for me. So once it plops out, all we got to do is grab our tool and take off all the extra vinyl we don't want. All set, let's go ahead and take this to the desk and finish this off. It's been printed, it's been cut, all we gotta do is just take off the extra vinyl. So we got our weeding tool here and we're just gonna take this off. Can't forget this little guy. Alright, so one last thing, we're gonna grab our transfer paper, lay down our stickers, and we're gonna go ahead and squeegee out all the air bubbles. Once that's done, we're gonna flip it and we're gonna chop it up. And here they are. Check them out guys, what do you guys think? And so you can see it a little better, here it is without the backing. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. 
Who do you want to see next? And what else do you want to see me make? Go, let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. It helps me out so much and I appreciate it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.